everybody. Can't wait to bring this couple back. The love story that touched us all. Yes, recently on the show, prize tag, Richard Cornish came on the show and chose bank clerk and billing. Well, have a look at this. What a lovely piece of pulsating excitement when they first saw each other. Then it was off to Cafe Venice where they first met the door by the door. <laughs> Richard then tries out uh, the seating to make sure that it's comfortable for Anne. And then... Oh, look, here they are at the table together as their eyes touched over a strand of fettuccine. <laughs> Before it was off to the warehouse nightclub for a spot of ABBA and a little bit of gyrating raging and all that. Yes, Richard and Anne on the dance floor. How did they get on on their daggy date? Let's bring it back and find out. Anne and Richard. Well, first, first of all, let me ask Anne, how was dinner? Dinner was really lovely, Greg. <laughs> Richard? Hi, oh, Greg. How are you feeling? <laughs> Richard, uh, uh, you went dancing after dinner? Yes, it was great. <laughs> right. Okay, who's the best dancer? Richard. No, she is. Richard. She is. I see. He dances like John Travolta. Does he? Yeah. And this appeals to you? Oh, yeah. I know. I, a little birdie told me that these two had just a wacko time together. Wacko! <laughs> <laughs> you know all about that, I suppose, Richard. But anyway, when they returned from their date, we took them aside separately and we started by asking Anne what she thought of Richard. I thought that Richard was a really nice guy. I found that he had proper upbringing because he was from the country and so am I, so we had lots of things to talk about. We both share a rather unusual interest in dairy products, <laughs> being from the country and everything. <laughs> we talked about Richard's cheese collection. Anne asked me a little bit about, about my cheese collection, um, more than a passing interest in my craft singles, <laughs> and my Emmental and Gouda really impressed, but she didn't get to see it. <laughs> well, stiff chatter for Anne, I guess, but was there anything else about Richard that impressed her? When we were dancing, Richard reminded me of John Travolta, and he's my hero. That reminds me of someone, I think she's got the girlish good looks of um, that um, Susan Rossiter Renouf Lady Peacock Sangster girly, uh, and perhaps a little bit of sophistication, surprisingly enough, of Ernie Sigley. Well, when we were in a nightclub, I had somebody come up to me and think that I was Kylie Minogue. Well, Anne was absolutely swamped at one stage. I've never seen so many young men attracted to a young woman like her. I thought she was Kylie Minogue. They said, hey, I know you, you're Kylie Minogue. And I said, how did you guess? And they said, well, because you look like her. Well, I'd my own bit, you know, because the girls thought I was Jason Hutchinson, and Michael Donovan and all those sort of people. <laughs> <laughs> now, there's a potent combination. And was it enough to ignite romance? During dinner, we both went for the salt and pepper shakers and our hands touched. <laughs> well, there were moments of unbridled passion, I thought, particularly when our hands met over the salt and pepper shaker. <laughs> you know what I mean? We both ran into the door at the same time and that was very, very romantic. There was a little bit of a bang, if I may use that term here on national television. <laughs> oh yes, I was very excited about it. Tingles up and down my spine. Gosh, I'm getting tingles just listening to this. So, let's find out about the future for Anne and Richard. Oh, there's a future, that's for sure, oh, I reckon. <laughs> I hope I'm going to see Richard again. He's the man of my dreams. Um, oh, as far as marriage goes, I think I'll ask Mum first before I ask Anne, you know. <laughs> and do Anne and Richard have one final message of love for each other? Richard, I hope that we can see each other and I want you to come over to my place and meet my mum. Well, Anne, whenever you're ready, I've already made the hundreds and thousands sandwiches to have under the hills hoy so. It's up to you. Come round if you like. <laughs> oh, gee, I love it when a plan works out. Now, are you really nervous about meeting Anne's mum, Richard? 
terrified. <laughs> I can imagine. So are you going to have the hundreds and thousands under the hills hoist? Uh, I think so, yes. Good. I think it's been an absolute joy having you on. Now, before you go, I want you both to stand up, please, just if you wouldn't mind, just standing up, because it's very rare on this show someone comes on with his fly undone. Richard, would you mind pulling up your fly? <laughs> As we give you these gifts for coming back. Richard and Anne, you'll never be a dag again in these groovy clothes. For Anne, a slinky dress made out of wool with a chain. And for Richard, they'll think you're Tom Cruise in this really grouse cloth cover. Compliments of Trent Nathan and Blind Date. <laughs> well, who cares about the fly? We can only hope, we can only hope that the Richard and Anne love story continues somewhere in the suburbs. I hope so too. Mm, me too. Anne? Do you? Oh, Richard. Will you? I think so. <laughs> I'll have to ask Mum. Me too. <laughs> we'll take a break, be back with more of Blind Date after these lessons.